Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can download the data from the participants who have carried out the study. So you uh, scroll down and you see you're still in the Simon study. Uh, that is your survey. Uh, if you go down further, you come to a section called Download. Download participant data. Now, there are currently data files from six different participants, potentially including uncompleted uh, surveys. Now, if you click on the a link at the bottom, you can actually have a quick look, and there you can see that there are five completed surveys and there is one uncompleted survey. Okay, when I close this tab again, I'm back at my download section. Uh, I want to select the uh, include Excel files because if you ask Site Toolkit to provide Excel files, you can very easily read those into SPSS. The point is, SPSS cannot easily read CSV files. It can do it, but it's a little bit of a hassle. You need to set some uh, parameters, whereas Excel files can be read in immediately. So that's easy. So choose that and then select uh, download data in zip file. Then a zip file is being downloaded and you can automatically open that with your archive manager. Uh, on different computers, this dialog will look slightly differently. Okay, I say okay, and now I can quickly show you what files I have here. I have a number of CSV files and a number of Excel files. They end on XLSX. If you work with Windows, you might actually not see the file endings. But in any case, uh, these files are easier to read into SPSS than these, although they're uh, otherwise identical. Also, there are a whole bunch of raw data files. Um, you do not necessarily need to analyze those. Uh, some of you might want to do that, but you don't need to in order to do most of your project analysis. And at the bottom also is your actual survey, the actual survey questions. That's handy to have. So here you have everything that you need. What you should do now is uh, for the following analysis, analysis uh, we're going to take data.xlsx and simon.median.xlsx and we're going to do a small analysis in SPSS with these uh, two data files.